In the late 19th century, a talented artist emerged whose work would come to be celebrated for its unique perspective and style. Gustave Calabot, born in Paris in 1848, had an interesting life leading up to his prolific artistic career. Growing up in a wealthy family, Calabot was able to pursue his passion for painting without the financial constraints that often burdened other artists of the time. He studied at the École des Beaux-Arts, where he developed his skills and honed his craft. But it was his experiences outside of the art world that truly shaped his artistic vision. Calabot was an avid sailor, and he often depicted scenes of rivers and boats in his artwork. One such masterpiece is the Seine and the Railroad Bridge at Argentule painted in 1885. This painting captures the hustle and bustle of the city, with the bridge and the flowing river serving as symbols of movement and progress. Calabot's love for nature is evident in many of his works as well. In Rose's Garden at Petit Genevilliers, painted in 1886, he skillfully portrays the delicate beauty of blooming roses, capturing their vibrant colors and intricate details. This attention to nature is also present in Richard Gallo and his dog at Petit Genevilliers, where Calabot showcases his ability to capture a simple moment in time. While Calabot was drawn to the natural world, he also found inspiration in everyday people and scenes. In Portrait of the Bookseller E. J. Fontaine, completed in 1885, he showcases his talent for bringing individuals to life on canvas. The intricate details of the subject's clothing and the thoughtful expression in his eyes reveal the care and precision Calabot put into his portraits. Calabot's connection with the rural countryside is exemplified in the plain of Genevilliers, yellow fields, and vegetable garden Petit Genevilliers, both painted in 1884. These works capture the tranquility and serenity of the countryside, with lush fields and vibrant gardens stretching as far as the eye can see. In vase of glails and sunflowers, Garden at Petit Genevilliers, both painted in 1887, Calabot showcases his ability to transform everyday objects into works of art. With vibrant colors and intricate brushstrokes, he brings these common flowers to life on the canvas. Finally, in The Little Arm of the Seine, Argentule, painted in 1886, Calabot combines his love for nature and the cityscape. This painting depicts a quiet, serene view of the river at sunset, capturing the peaceful harmony between man and nature. Throughout his career, Gustave Calabot's experiences and passions shaped his unique artistic style. From his love of sailing to his appreciation for nature and everyday life, each of his works tells a story and transports the viewer to a different time and place. His talent for capturing beauty in its many forms continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day.